Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina and today we're continuing on with Grim Fandango. Let us continue on with this. All right. I can't use my bare hands. I'm a professional. I can't reap hamburger, cows, or a whole other bureau, not to mention the lettuce. Mmm, smells like the perfect client, rich and sweet. I can't carry the whole package out of here. He's got to shuffle off his mortal coil. Then we can split. It's the fear of death that makes monsters of us all. Boom. Scaring the living is technically against the rules, but we all do it. <laughs> I can't reap hamburger, cows, or a whole other bureau, not to mention the lettuce. Okay. Let's see here. There we go, we found our scythe. Nice bathrobe. <laughs> nice bathrobe, I like it. We offer several travel package upgrades if you care to cut the yeah. I want something cheap where I can get some breath, not that's it. Ay, ay, ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster. You want it? Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh yeah, slam the front into the weeds. Tug the rear end. Oh. Okay. He's really into this. <laughs> you'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait. Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno. But my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street. No job. No way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. Who you calling a scumbag? Why, well, I on a... <laughs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. Okay. Well then. Is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. One second. I can't find my driver. Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Okay. No, but I like to hear your description of it. Just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Okay. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. <laughs> okay. Well, Just gonna I'm move away. Works. Um. Let's see. What do we have available to us? Okay. They'll never get out of his there we go. Uh, you 
and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. What? How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? We, huh? we haven't you sent think anything. You're better than me? No. Good. Look, we can go into this now. Okay, so this is the packing area that we're here. Um, okay, so there really isn't anything left. Maybe we can explore outside a bit. Someone just messaged me. Ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. It might be one of my friends. Okay. My kid died. Jeez, what now? A dead worm. Heck, that's easy. There's no limit on those. Okay. So let's run back real quick. That's not what balloons are for. Balloons are formed. All right, there we go. And there we go. It's a little bit more complicated. Come on, run back to my office. No, open it back up again. No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> Look out below. Okay. So where? No, it's not here. Is it like off the lobby or something? This is the filling room. I maybe it, it oh my god. This is so annoying. There. Okay. Maybe it is in the garage. Go in. 
Yeah, there's only one thing in the garage. Is that. Where is that room we saw? Like, where is that room we saw? Okay, that's there. No, we're gonna head this way. Like, is there another way? Ah. That's not on fire. Okay. There she is, the number nine. One of these days, I'm going to ride her right on out of here. One of these days. Um. Oh, okay. Sorry. I just looked down at the answer. I need a second one. Because I need to fill the second one with blue to make a mess. Okay. I'm just gonna grab two of them. Well. I might not need two. That's not what balloons are for. Okay, go. Let me get in. Filling room. Yeah. This was a little bit roundabout. That's... Oh my god. There. The change of the camera is really annoying. My message tube is full of nothing. As usual. There we go. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Okay. Servers down again. What else is new? Good to know. I've just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. Hi. I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? And I guess he's not going to talk with us. This is idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. Um. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. Who would, Who would do, do such a terrible thing, thing like, like this? this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. Hmm. Well, I got a split. Yeah. What? Not again! Ah, 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 ah. You 
trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher. Okay. Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here. What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste. I see. Let's see what happens next. Good enough for government work. Okay, awesome. Cards, honey. I don't know why I did that. Okay. This one here. <laughs> I love that. That is hilarious. And I love it. Buenos dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calaveda. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche, I can see it in your face and in your file here. Okay. You're entitled to a first class ticket to. Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. <laughs> Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Maybe later. Well, hurry up because it's going to be cremated soon. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much <laughs> when you were alive? Very little. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Okay. But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter. Okay. Just stop right there. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. 
Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha. Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been our volunteer work. Uh huh. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calaveda, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please call me Manny. All right. So she was actually absolutely useless. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Hey, funny bones in my office now. What? You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road. All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent. There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients the domino. What? That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest. Oh, is this how we leave? And unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service. Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Get in there and stay put till the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me. Okay, then. Interesting. Well, then. This is getting interesting, I will admit. I will leave that here for this episode, however. We will come back and we will get out of this. Hopefully, I'll figure a way out. But I do want to thank y'all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!